Do my lang my YouTube family and welcome back to my Chan channel. But I know it has been a very long time and as kissing care, I'm very sorry. In all honesty, I don't have a very good excuse. It's just that when my channel started doing fairly well, I got into the trap of being afraid that my next video was not going to be as good as the one I had before. And what's working? You know, perfectionism. And I was just, I just kept putting off re recording because I was afraid. So procrastination that was caused by fear. But anyway, we are here now. I told myself I'm just going to keep showing up because that's the best that I can do. And now we are here. So hi. Okay, today's video, to make sure my three biggest wins for 2022 and my three biggest losses for 2022 while I do my makeup with my absolute favorite products for the year, okay? Disclaimer, it's mostly quick face because quick face this year was my fighter. She was the girl she thought she was. Yes, so I put a little bit of Vaseline on my face and then I start with my foundation. Now, the girl quick face foundation, the dark palette from that foundation kit was my fighter. You will see it's almost finished. And this is because give it this as my uh, concealer, my foundation and my, what is this? Contour. So that's what I'm going to do now. And while I do that, I'm going to tell you about my wins and my losses. So I'm going to start with the good stuff because Vela, you must start with the great stuff. My biggest win this year, my absolute flex for the season, get out of my flex for the decade, Vela, is buying my mama house. <laughs> I'm so happy about doing that. That was probably the biggest thing that I did this year that I'm absolutely proud of. Giving my family a home, a place they can call home, a place that they go to and they're happy. And my mom is so happy. Hello, <laughs> So... Yeah, for me, that was an absolute achievement. Um, there is no greater feeling in this world than seeing your parent see you do well while you are still alive. You know, thanking your parent, not with a tombstone, but with your actions while they're still alive, you know. So that was a big win for me this year. So now moving on to foundation. My next win was you guys. <laughs> You guys made my year. Like, I am so thankful for you guys. And what I mean by you guys is I had significant growth on my YouTube channel this year. So, at the beginning of the year, I had about 40 subscribers. And now I'm sitting at, if I'm not mistaken, I'm sitting at like 280 something. I am literally close to my uh, 300 subscribers target for the year and you know what i'm so thankful even look at instagram guys you know instagram i grew a lot november was a weird month for instagram i started the month on instagram i'm gonna move on to contour i started the month for instagram on 700 followers and i ended up the month on like 8,000. okay no i'm on 9,000 now but i think i ended the month on like thousand or something so i don't know what happened don't ask me for tips but i suspect it had a lot to do with maybe the algorithm picking up my content i did change up my content a little bit i started doing those amaravas that so i think it was just doing like content that people wanted to see and a part of me also feels like sometimes it's your time in life you know like your time comes and there's very little that people can do to stop your shine so yeah this is the face that i start with this is the base and then i use this brush to blend brushy eggy gray look good dragon seed i bought this brush called dragon city and it was like i don't know how much it was so i'm not trying to think in blend it's amazing guys and they were like over time brushy my last biggest flex for this year and the thing that i'm most proud of right <laughs> you know what the girl is moving i got a promotion guys but 
I got a promotion literally now in December. I was starting a new job and I'm absolutely proud of myself. Like I've been working so hard, you know, I put so much time and effort and intention into my career. And when it pays off, I feel like God is just looking up my way and saying, girl, keep glowing, keep showing up, keep being you at the workplace. So I got a promotion. Gonna move on to setting powder. Before this, I never used to use setting powder until I made this quick face setting powder. It is a translucent powder. It is undetectable. I tell you, like it literally disappears into my skin. And I love that about it. I used to just wear makeup and then it would be like soggy and all of that. But since I made the setting powder, look at that. Disappeared. Gone. Where is she? Untraceable. Like find her. You can't. Okay. Like this is my setting powder for life. Okay. Speaking of things disappearing. Um, now I'm going to move on to my top three biggest losses for 2020 okay 2022 man what am i saying these are things i wish could disappear things i wish never happened this year these are the things that contributed to my goal this year so the first thing right that is my loss i gained weight but you know guys you know i gained so much weight and i feel big and a little bit fat in my body and before you come for me and start talking about oh you're so beautiful and whatever i never said being fat means i'm ugly okay <laughs> so if you have your own issues about being fat and and being ugly equating that to the same thing please don't start me and i never said i am fat i said i feel this is the heaviest i've ever been i'm using myself as a point of reference because weight is personal to me weight is a personal thing so please before you come for me take several seats the reason i gained weight is because i ate i ate everything i was on a seafood diet whatever i saw i ate and also because of I was emotionally eating. I was eating from feelings. If I'm tired, I eat. If I'm sad, I am ate, ate. If I was stressed, I ate. I ate my feelings. I still have the feelings. Now I have the weight. So it's not worth it, but, but baby, okay? Don't eat your feelings away. It doesn't work. So yeah. And then my second biggest flop. <laughs> Guys, I got into debt. I got into debt and I'm really not happy about that. So... I got into debt, but how I got into debt, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not upset. I'm not upset by it. Ooh, but I'm not mad. I'm not upset that I got into debt, but what made me get into debt was my mother's house. Okay. So I had some money saved up for the house, but then there were a lot of renovations or a lot of like things I had to do. It was a brand new house, but it didn't have a lot of stuff. So that made me get into a lot of debt. So I'm going to move on to my brows or the lack they off because all I do to my brows is I brush them out. I literally have nothing else I do. I just don't want them to be bushy. I just brush my brows out and that's it. That's all I do to my brows. So as I was saying, I got into debt this year and I am not proud of it, but I'm neither nor ashamed. I need a plan to get out and I need to be disciplined. So anyway, I'm just going to go in with my contour. My contour is Yardley. I got this at this game years ago. Like, okay, like last year, let me know, years ago. The girl is struggling, okay? Like, I use this contour all the time. But don't. I got this contour. It was on special. I don't think it's even available anymore. And then I take a brush. I just tap it a little bit and I do a little bit of my nose with the contour, darling. And that's it. That's it for the bronzer. And then I move on to my eyes after that. And what I do for my eyes is this year I have fallen in love with single shadows. Okay, single shadows have been my girl this year. So I use this Mr. Price palette which I got for 80 Rand and I'm going to use this brick red one and I'm just going to apply a little bit onto my eye and yeah, 
nothing fancy literally just apply it around and that's it yes so now i'm going to move on to eyeliner and eyeliner i'm very quiet guys i suck with eyeliner i always start with this left eye because it's my struggle eye then i finish off with the right eye because whatever i do this side i can replicate this side but yeah i'm gonna be very quiet now so please excuse me while i try to get this eyelashes right by the way my eyeliner i use this essence soft liner it's like a brush tip and it does a mean cat eye before this cat eye but to nigiran tong we are block or so so this has absolutely changed my makeup so the next thing i move on to is my lashes i don't put on lashes i have tried and i have failed many a times it ruins my look like na eyelash shampalam wo pelong like agna go bolela maka eyelash yan trap so i give lots and the false eyelash you know can some mascara ke ka hana le stress mo bo pelong so i'm going to put on mascara and my favorite mascara this year was this Rimmel 3D one that I got got clicks. Very affordable. I think it was like 80 rand or 100 rand, but it wasn't too expensive. I've been talking so much. I haven't told you my other big loss this year. My other big loss this year, which is my third one, has been that I have been overworking, guys. Like I overworked myself this year i overextended myself at work and that caused me to have a phase of panic attacks and all of that but i learned a lot from this phase and my biggest lesson from this phase is that overworking did not get me the promotion so don't do it <laughs> it's not worth it like it doesn't get you the results you think it will get you i'm gonna move on to blush uh, and I use these cute little brushes I got from Mr. Price. This blush is from Revolution. I don't remember how much it was, but I bought it at, at Clicks sometime this year. So honorable mentions for this year, I would say was not being con consistent. Um, not being consistent or operating from my emotions. Or I wouldn't even say my emotions or feelings, but I don't know how to call it. But I wasn't consistent a lot of times this year. And that resulted in me in not meeting a lot of my goals. And I ended up having these feelings of like, I felt like I had good reasons, but in actual fact, they were just excuses. I wasn't motivated to do a lot of stuff. And that's what I blamed it on. I'm not motivated. I need to be kind to myself. But all of that has a balance. I'm going to fix my nose contour. It looks very much theatrical, but I think I've, I've fixed it. So a little bit of blush goes a long way, guys. I never used to use blush, but I started this year and I've been loving the look. Okay, a girl is glowing with the blush. Um, I'm going to move on to highlighter and highlighter is quick face again. Quick face is so easy. It's made my life easier and the products are actually very good quality for the price. So I would recommend it. So I just put a little bit on my nose, a little bit here and here and here and then i just blend it out so one of the things that i'm taking with me to 2022 is that you will not always feel like doing stuff you know you will not always be absolutely motivated to act and we shouldn't always rely on motivating but oh motivation yours cooler <laughs> You should not always rely on motivation to be the driver for action. You know, you need to find ways to have discipline and have systems in place and have habits and routines that drive you to do these things. And it, honestly, this is not a new lesson, but it was just so much cemented this year. It confirmed my suspicions all this time because, yeah, motivation will leave you. It will leave you dead. Your woods. In the dangers but yeah guys i'm almost done finally i'm gonna do my lips and my lips were very easy this year it was just lip gloss and a little bit of this brown this was initially for my brows <laughs> marana creative 
I use it as a lip liner because I like the brown and I keep buying lip liners but I can't get this brown look the way. So I line my lips and then I just put on my lip gloss. After that, I'm pretty much done. And I finish off my look with a quick face again, just a few spritz. But if I'm feeling very fancy, I have this other um, setting spray that's like very glistening. But today, you know, it's I'm just feeling cute. So I'm going to finish off with this. And then just like that, but girls, we are done. We are done and I am absolutely looking forward to next year. I'm looking forward to growing with you guys, experimenting with new content and going, growing and glowing. Like I feel like the next season of my life is just growing and glowing. Look at how cute I am. <laughs> <laughs> like you feel like it. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for showing up with me today. I promise I will not disappear for so long ever again. You're welcome to like, subscribe, and share with your other honeys. Okay, bye.